What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here at Walker Stalker Con in Atlanta with Mr. Morgan Jones, Lenny James. Uh, first, we got to start out by talking about last week's episode, that season seven premiere. You were absent, yep. but it, it was tough. What, what, what did you did you watch it? I did watch it. Um, I didn't want to watch it the second time, but um, I, uh, it was a kind of um, public screening, so I kind of had to. Um, it was brutal, um, but it was also brilliant. It was heartbreaking. Um, it was somewhere we had to go in order to stay true to our source material. Uh, we had to get through it. It was a fantastic introduction for uh, Jeffrey's character, Negan. And, um, and I think also it was a reminder to all of us um, about the realities of the world that our story is told in. And every now and then we have to shake the bag. When, I mean, what, seriously, you can't think of a time a character has been introduced in a show or movie and made that kind of impact. And they say it every year that this is a, a new show, the dynamic has changed, but this year feels like it's a whole new show. And seven years in, that's so impressive. What do you think are the biggest differences from season seven as all six years prior? Oh, I think season seven is going to be um, a marker. And um, the, the season premiere kind of set that in the... In the in sand, really set it in stone, is um, I think this show is going to be seen to a greater or lesser extent um, in terms of before season seven, episode one, and after season seven, episode one. I, I think so. I think you're right. And speaking of that, tonight's episode is is the kingdom introduction. You meet Shiva the tiger. You meet King Ezekiel. Kari does an amazing job. Yeah. How was it, this was Kari's first day on set, and you got to work with him? What was it like? to work with Kari for the first time. and what I mean, this is a character that is, for this world and this universe you guys have established, seems a, maybe even a little bizarre. Yeah, this is a, um, this one was one where, you know, the intro, everybody was talking about the introduction of Negan, and quite rightly so. Um, for me, obviously, because of where we were working, it was always about the introduction of King Ezekiel. And he is a, a character that in the hands of a lesser actor could have gone really, really wrong. But Kari gets it absolutely right, he lands, um, he lands it at the right place, he, he gets it at the right pace, and he sets it at exactly the right tone. We understand why the people he rules over want him to be the king. And we understand why he's playing this particular game for them. And he fits in with all our iconic figures, whether it be Negan, whether it be Rick, whether it be Deanna, whether it be all, all of the leaders, he's another one added to those. Well, I, I can't wait. He, I think he might be my new favorite character. I think Mo behind be. Morgan. Yeah. Behind Morgan, of yeah, course. I say that because you stood next to me and I have weapons. But, um, but you don't kill. I but don't. speaking of you don't kill, and in the episode change. there's that moment with the exchange with the saviors and, and Morgan is pointing the gun and uh, you, they really emphasize that he thought about pulling the trigger again. It seems like there might be a side of Morgan he's trying to hide. I think it's one of the things that people have slightly misunderstood about the journey that Morgan's going on is that he's trying to live a life where all lives is precious. Um, he's trying. He's not there yet. He's not Eastman. He doesn't have the benefit of being locked away in a hut with a goat. Um, he's out in the world, so he's trying to get it done. Right. Well, awesome. I can't wait to see more of Morgan. Thank I, you very much. I hope he makes it back to Alexandria to meet with everybody. Makes it back to Alexandria to meet him. Thanks for watching, Comic Book Nation.